a hard work, sacrifice. It's all coming down to this. I didn't sweat and cry all those tears and drip all that blood for no reason. My dream is to be the UFC champion, nothing else. I've got to destroy whoever they put in front of me. I'm not gonna let someone hijack my destiny. Every one of these fighters here honestly believe that this is their time, and they're right. This is their time. This is their opportunity to reach out and grab everything they ever dreamed of. Welcome to the Ultimate Fighter. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to my official first episode of UFC Career Mode. I am an Ultimate Fighter. I am David the King Carter and I am here to prove to Team McGregor and Team Faber that I'm that guy. That I'm going to be the dude that makes it to the UFC, gets my little trophy, and bodies everybody in my way. Now I'm going up against this Chicago dude named Rory Nunez. He don't even got dreads. How you from Chicago and you claim to be a savage and you ain't got no dreads? Bro, that mohawk doesn't make me a believer. I'm sorry, the mohawk doesn't do it for me. But check me out coming out in that all black everything. Black beard, black shirt, black shorts, black gloves. I'm in the red corner, that's right. I'm already projected to be the winner. I'm already projected to be the better fighter. And guess what? I'm fighting out of Philadelphia, if you know what I mean. I might have been the guy that knocked Cat Williams the fuck out. We, ne we will never know. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't caught on the footage. That's how much of a savage I am. There was no footage. But he does have the two-inch reach. But guess what? It ain't about the reach, man. It's about the, I guess you could call it the, the kill factor. You know what I'm saying? Like, I smell blood as soon as we touch gloves. Look at me swinging at this dude. He don't even want no work. He's scared of me. He already running. I don't even know what I did to this guy to make him run. But look at his damage. You can already tell that I got heavy hands. You can already tell that I might be that guy. But guess what UFC tries to do to me? They try to put me in this god darn tutorial. I'm a savage. I don't need a tutorial. I does this. Now check it out, man. I hit him with a body kick. He literally crumbles. And you already know what time it is, man. I'm laying down the punches, laying down the haymakers. He wants no problems. He wants no work. He can't even block. And the ref has to call it. Because the fight was already over. The fight should have been over. This dude should have went down with one punch. I promise y'all. In one of these fights, your boy going to get a one punch knockout somehow. I don't know what I got to do to get it. But I'm telling y'all, once I get that one punch knockout, it's going to be a problem. I might I might call myself the greatest after that. I'm just saying. But I didn't even waste my time transitioning. I didn't want to get on top mount. I knocked this dude out while he was in full guard. God damn. But hey, I just want to say thank you guys for watching this episode. What is about to happen is Team McGregor and Team Faber are going to pick their... Fighters for the whole entire UFC Ultimate Fighter tournament. But it will say that I'm projected to go top three. But you never know in the UFC, man. You never know. They might pick me top five. Who who knows? But we're going to continue here, see who they pick. I hope I get number one. If I get number one, I might be the best ever did it. But if I don't get number one, hey, it is what it is. I didn't knock this dude out within like 14 to 15 seconds. That's not my fault. You know what I'm saying? He was running. You know what I'm saying? From the get-go. He touched gloves and said, you know what? I'm a second guess everything that I got going on in this octagon, and I'm going to go ahead and run. But uh, we have the team selection right here. I hope that I get picked by McGregor. That's that's literally who I want to be picked by. I don't want to be picked by Team Faber. I'd rather be picked by a champ. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just saying I, I, I'd rather be picked by a champ right now. But uh, what I will say is um, I got a lot of episodes dropping today as well as the coming days. So you guys can look out for a new video every hour on the hour. I'm probably going to drop one an hour right after this video, mainly because I want to get caught up with, you know, the UFC, the UFC fights. If I get crazy knockouts early, the videos aren't that long. So, you know, you guys shouldn't be, you know, stressing. Oh, my God, I got to watch a 15 minute video. These videos are going to be very short, very straight to the point, and you guys are going to love it. But, hey, I'm about to sign out, man. I hope you guys like the video. Leave a comment. Make sure you share it with all your friends. By the way, make sure you download my app, Team IKC. I'm definitely sending notifications, man. Notification gang all day long. 
I'm gonna holla at you on the next one. Peace. Some dudes win, a few dudes lose. Nobody wanna be a fan anymore. Niggas get too cool. Get it? Jump in the books like the blues clues do. Can't pay my bills with all these YouTube views. I'm trying to make a difference. Niggas savage like there ain't no jail. You killed her son, she know who did it. Think she ain't gonna tell? And that's murder, so there ain't no bail. So you stuck until court, you might as well just decorate your cell. And your family broke, that's why you send the remember.